Hello everyone, let's go. Let's move on to the next picture. What you can see here? So we'll write down what are the points we can understand. This is a city. This is an any city, non-enhanced city of the face region. We can see the sinuses here, right? So these are the sinus sinuses. This is the nasal cavity. So this is definitely a CT of the face. What is the section? It is a coronal section like this. There is another picture. See the 3D image here. So let's compare this with the normal coronal CT of the face. See, this is the normal coronal CT of the face. And please compare both the sides. This, what is this bone? Which I can't see in our picture, in the pathology. Yes, this is the mandible. This is the ramus of the mandible. Can we see it here? No, we cannot see it here. Instead, what we can see are these bilateral hemimandibles. They appear expansile, cystic, multiloculated, giving rise to this soap bubble appearance, right? Let's see the CT picture. See, now you can better appreciate that in the region of the man mandible, the mandible is no longer being seen. Instead, we see big expansile bone lesion, which is multiloculated, cystic, and this is the soap bubble appearance. So what is the diagnosis? Okay, I'll give you more hints. This is an inheritable condition, autosomal dominant. Onset is childhood. Yes. Another important thing is they were initially thought to be subtypes of craniofacial fibrous dysplasia. But now the genetic bases have been found to be completely different and they are now considered to be separate entities. Also, these findings are of childhood onset, but by the time the person becomes adult, these things, they sclerose and often regress. So what is the name? The first name given to this entity was familial multilocular cystic disease of jaw and the more famous name is Sherabism. Why the name Sherabism? Who were the Sherabs? You know in the Abrahamic religions, Sherabs were considered to be celestial angels and who were often demonstrated in pictures as having these chubby cheeks with a upward displacement of the eyeballs which often resembled the children how they look from outside when they got this disease and hence the name Sherabism.